guys, thanks so much for uh, listening to this, I guess, listening to me talk. I just kind of wanted to end saying um, how much I loved uh, serving a mission, how much it did for me, um, but then also how much um, continuing to be a missionary, um, how much it blesses my life. And so anyone that's um, considering uh, going and serving and being a full-time missionary, I'd like to encourage you to do it, um, to pray about it, to set goals to become a missionary now so that when you um, do go and be a full-time missionary, that the transition is just that much more, is just that much easier for you. I love this gospel, and it really does bless my life immensely. And so there's a lot of people out there that need this gospel as well. So um, being a missionary, you'll be able to help out a lot of people. I'd also like to um, kind of express my love for people that um, may have maybe tried to serve a mission, but couldn't go because of certain reasons or maybe had to return early. Um, that's, and we sometimes look down on that as a society, but I just want to um, let you know that, um, that you are loved so much and it's, you're nowhere, you're no different in the eyes of the Lord in any way. Like you, he used you as an instrument to the best, to, to the best of your ability. And he used you for how, um, um, he needed you, um, and so just know that you did an amazing work, and you, um, you, you did what the Lord needed you to do. I think a lot of times we get bugged, we're like, "Oh, I didn't do what this person did." Don't think that, um, because that's when you start like getting, you know, sad and depressed about your service. But just, I want to express my love to you guys. Uh, anyone that's done anything to serve um, or be a missionary, missionary in any way. Um, you're part of a great work, and uh, yeah, that's it.